Hi there, everybody. Mike Peters here, your star realtor of Star and the Treasure Valley, back with another video to where we're going to go ahead and travel the Treasure Valley again, and this time take an in-depth look at the city of Emmett. So let's get out that door. Let's go take a look. <laughs> Before we begin our tour of the city of Emmett, let's go ahead and discuss its brief history. Originally, the city was named Martinsville after Nathaniel Martin. Sometime later, the name was changed to Emmettsville because it was primarily a post office named after Emmett Cahollin, the son of Tom Cahollin, an early settler to the area. The post office was later moved but retained the name. A few years later, the ville was dropped from the post office and the town became simply Emmett. In 1883, James Wardwell had the town platted, and in 1900, the town was incorporated as Emmett. Later, in March of 1902, the Idaho Northern Railroad came to the valley. After the closing of the mines in 1906, power lines were extended to Emmett, and a series of irrigation projects made it possible for a more rapid expansion of the town as the major service center for a farming and a fruit growing valley. In the early 1900s, Fruit Packers adopted the label of Gem of Plenty because of the fertility of the valley. During the mining area, the valley was known as the garden for the mining regions. Geographically, Emmett consists mainly of flat farmland that is surrounded by mountains and hilltops, which surrounds about three quarters of the town, giving the city some amazing views. The city of Emmett is located about 21 minutes north of the city of Star and is located about 40 minutes northwest from the capital city of Boise. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of 2.82 square miles, of which 2.80 square miles is land and 0.02 square miles is water. It is also located south of the Payette River and at an elevation of 2,362 feet above sea level. Today, and according to the United States Census, the 2020 population of Emmett is 7,585 residents, coming in at the 29th largest city in Idaho. Emmett is currently grown at a rate of 2.39% annually, and its population has increased by 15.68% since the most recent census, which recorded a population of 6,557 in 2010. Spanning over its three miles, Emmett has a population density of 2,701 people per square mile. Emmett's commerce consists mainly of mom and pop stores located across this downtown area. Downtown you can find wonderful restaurants, nightlife, boutiques, and more. Some of the major chain stores located within the city consist of a Bimart, which is like a Walmart, a tractor supply, a DMV supply, and for a supermarket, and Albertsons. However, Emmett is definitely not shy in its local organically grown vegetables and fruits. You can also find local butchers right within the city limits. As far as medical goes for the city, Emmett does host a number of family medicine, specialty practices, and an urgent care. Although the city itself does not possess a major hospital, such as St. Alphonsus or St. Luke's, Valor Health, located in the northwest portion of the town, possesses a 24-hour emergency room. 
school-wise, the City of Emmett is run by the Emmett Independent School District and has few public and charter schools to choose from, private and preschools having more options. According to Niche.com, the school system in Emmett maintains an overall C rating. For more information on the schools available in the City of Emmett, please visit www.greatschools.org. Police-wise, the City of Emmett is patrolled by the Emmett Police Department and maintains a C- rating according to AreaVibes.com. Currently, the department hosts about 20.4 officers per 10,000 people and has its own internal criminal investigations unit. Out of the 2,370 arrests reported from 2013 to 2020, the majority of the arrests made were considered to be low-level offenses at 86%. As far as recreation goes, the City of Emmett has quite a few things to offer, such as the Emmett City Park, which is located just a couple of blocks east of downtown and is absolutely loaded with facilities for kids and events. The city also has the Gem Island Sports Complex, which is an island on the Payette River that has been transformed into a 55-acre sports complex. There is also the Roy Stone Hot Springs, which features a pool and a 12-seater hot tub that can be rented for one hour or an hour and a half. Or there's the Black Canyon Park, which boasts a beach and a swimming area, large tree-shaded grassy spaces, barbecues, picnic tables, gazebos, a horseshoe pit, and a boat launch and docks. These are just to name a few. Come visit the city today and see what Emmett has in store for you. Lastly, let's talk about the housing in the city of Emmett. Emmett consists mainly of farms and ranches. Older homes and older subdivisions do exist mostly around the epicenter of the city's downtown area. However, new subdivisions are also popping up within and around the city limits. The new subdivisions, however, are not as plentiful as you would find in other areas around the Treasure Valley. Emmett is still very much ingrained in its rural farm and ranch charm and will be for some time to come. The neighborhoods host a great family-oriented feel that provides a wonderful place to raise a family. While still a part of the Treasure Valley itself and located in Gem County, in Emmett and regarding standard single-family housing, you will find the median home prices tend to be on the lower side than that of neighboring Star, Eagle, Middleton, and Meridian to name a few. For more information on the City of Emmett itself, for current updates on the Treasure Valley housing market, or perhaps you are looking to buy, sell, or invest in Emmett, please feel free to reach out to me today. I can be reached at 208-715-STAR. That's 208-715-7827. I look forward to being of help. Let's get you to Emmett. Hey, welcome back after the video, everybody. I do hope that you enjoyed that wonderful tour of the city of Emmett, and I hope that you found that information useful uh, in your considerations of whether or not you're looking to relocate here to the Treasure Valley, buy, sell, or invest. Uh, of course, if you do have further questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Be more than happy to answer any questions that you do have, and I can be reached at area code 208-715-STAR. Again, that's 208 715 7827 and don't forget to click in the description button below if you are thinking about making a relocation right here to the treasure valley click on that link and download my free relocation guide so that way you're in the know before you decide to make the move also don't forget to hit that subscribe button below so that you're constantly in tune to all the videos that i do come up with and hit that notification bell and if you are thinking about starting your shopping experience feel free to visit my website at www.yourstarrealtor.com. Uh, also, please feel free to share this video with somebody that you know, but I do look forward to the day that we speak. I look forward to the day that I call you my neighbor. God bless, and until then, thank you so much. Bye-bye.